Hi, good day to everyone. Good morning. And we are now in our devotional Thursday. And meron po nga tayong tema ngayon no, na humility or humbleness. And before we start, let's bow our head and pray. Father of God, you are O God Lord, our uh, Lord and Savior, Panginoon ng aming buhay O God. And Lord, salamat Panginoon sa salvation na ito, O God, Lord, because we have freedom, Panginoon, from our sins, O God. Lord, salamat po sa uh, pag, pagkamatay mo sa krus, O God, Lord, you, you, you obey, Lord, uh, Father, to humble yourself to the cross, O God, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, na tunay nga, ikaw po ay uh, aming tagapagligtas, our Redeemer, Panginoon sa tiyak na kapahamakan, Panginoon. Salamat, O God, Lord. Ikaw nga po ang maitaas sa araw na ito, O God, Lord, sa salita. Sa tanging pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Yun nga po, no? uh, we have a team now na humility or humbleness. And today, I wanted to share to you Matthew 11.29 Yun po, no? Sa chapter 11.29 Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls yan, yeah, napakaganda po ng message no? and, and this uh, sharing uh, we will uh, look upon Lord's humbleness no? kasi siya naman talaga yung pinaka uh, nag glorify ng humbleness ng Diyos kasi nga siya talaga yung ano eh one and only son ng Ama. Ayan po, sige po. Uh, the demands of our faith often overwhelms us. Perhaps, that's because we seen them as demands. Yung nga po, no, parang yung obedience, parang nagiging demand lang sa atin. Para bang ano lang, hinihini sa atin yung obedience. Pero, hindi daw po ganun. When Jesus tell us to follow Him, when He insists on complete obedience and undying allegiance, when he reminds us that we have not lived out to the loss of God, we frail creatures feel as thought he is pointing out our obligation and telling us to do better. Hindi, he is not, sabi niya nga po, hindi nga daw po yun yung hinihingi niya, no? He is offering us a better way. Rather, placing demands on us, Jesus offer us new life. What we perceive as his requirements as actually compelling pieces of evidence that we need not to try to do better but to give up trying to do it ourselves. Eh, napakalino po, no? Hindi naman natin talaga kailangan pang ano eh, gawin yun para lang daw sundin yung demand. Ayan. So, we're supposed to use to see how impossible his standards are. Parang napaka-imposible nga naman daw pong sundin yung standard ng Panginoon. Pero may ginawa ang Panginoon sa atin. No? That's the point na kailangan na siya mismo. Siya mismo yung mag, uh, ano, ng kabutihan sa atin kapag ka tinanggap natin siya bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas. When Jesus tell us to do, take his yoke, the peace that binds and guides a beast burden upon us. He is not telling us to leave a state of freedom for his captivity. We're already captive. So ano daw po yung ano, na captive daw tayo. We already have a yoke on us, our own. Ayan, isa talaga yan sa pinakamatinding uh, kalaban natin, no? yung sarili natin. Hindi lang yung demonyo, enemy natin ng demonyo, pero enemy din natin yung flesh, yung sarili natin. We are already slaves to our sense of independence and self-management and it is horribly burdensome yoke. Napakabigat na daw po yung palang. Sabi dun, no, when he offers us his yoke, he is offering us a way of this self-effort we've insisted on for years. He is offering us life-giving direction and purpose he is generously giving us his own life. Ayan. So, talagang sa totoo lang, parang sinasabi dito, wala talagang sense na yung life natin. Pero, kung 
iaano uh, natin ng Lord, tatanggapin natin siya bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas at iahambol natin yung sarili natin sa Panginoon, eh talaga matatanggap natin si Lord, si Jesus sa buhay natin. And by that, we will be saved. Dependence of Jesus, uh, dependence on Jesus is a prerequisite for obedience. We cannot reverse the order without being crushed beneath the obligation of life and our attempts at self-righteousness. We must be taught dependence first. Kailangan daw natin talagang dumipende. Yun ang pinaka first na step daw is to depend ourselves to the Lord. There is a huge difference between a taskmaster and a teacher. Which way do you most often relate to Jesus? Ayan. Ano ba daw yung ano natin sa Lord, yung ginawa ng Lord, di ba? So, bigyan ko lang din po kayo ng background. Ang Lord, eh, nakasunod siya out of, ah, uh, ng sarili niya nung bumaba siya sa earth na nagpray siya sa ama niya. Na ang sinasabi niya doon sa prayer, sa Gethsemane, na gusto niyang tanggalin yung wrath, yung sakit na mararamdaman niya. Pero ang sabi niya pa naman dun na kung yun lang yung way para iligtas ang mankind, tayo, gagawin niya. So, yun yung pinaka uh, gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. No? It's i-reach out tayo. Have you been reverting your self-management to which we were all once enslaved? Learn to see His yoke as life-giving promise. Though He insists on everything we have in the transaction, He demands it for our freedom, not our captivity. Remember the gentleness of your teacher and know that His yoke never adds to your burden. So, yung mga ano nga ay nakatanggap na or naka-accept na sa Lord, eh yung mga task naman na ibinibigay ng Panginoon, eh hindi naman daw talaga kabigatan yun. Kumbaga, dapat maramdaman mo sa sarili mo na itong task na to, eh mahalaga to. Ito yung part ng kingdom, ito yung pagiging servant mo. Kumbaga yung ginawa ng Lord is nag-serve siya sa earth, nung nandito siya sa earth, na namatay siya, nag-serve siya, dapat yun din daw tayo. Kasi ganun siya nung nandito siya. So, that's the kind of humility na gusto ng Lord na ipartake natin today. Ayan po, no? And, before we uh, end, let us pray. Let's uh, bow our heads to the Lord. Yes, so God, Lord, thank you, Panginoon, for this morning that you have given us, Panginoon, a way to have ourselves humble to you, O God, Lord. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na Ikaw yung teacher, O God, Lord, ng humility. Ikaw ang teacher ng aming, uh, ng aming soul, O God, Lord, to partake, O God, Lord, your yoke, O God, Lord, sa amin. And Lord, we will take this, Panginoon, as a blessing, Panginoon, sa buhay namin, sa family namin, O God, Lord, and to other people around us, O God. Salamat, Panginoon, tunay nga napakabuti mo, O God, Lord. It is a privilege to serve you, O God, with compassion, O God, Lord. Salamat, O God, Lord. All the glory and honor belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to invite you to join us on our a celebration in God's goodness every Sunday at 2 p.m. via Facebook live stream. You can invite your friends and be blessed. You can also follow us our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more video update. For inquiries, and send us a message through our Facebook and we will surely answer them for you. Thank you and God bless everyone. Bye-bye.